Hi, I'm here with Dave Griffith, Senior VP of Advanced Analytics Solutions. So, welcome Dave for these, uh, this series on uh, analytics. Can you tell us a bit about what your role is at Dun & Bradstreet? Sure, yeah, I, I have the privilege of working with a team of great statisticians and mathematicians, uh, and I also get to interact with our customers in really helping them understand how best to use all the great solutions that, that those uh, wonderful people develop. So tell me, what are the latest trends going on right now with risk managers and how they're using analytics? Yeah, it's really a continuation of trends we've seen over the last handful of years. Um, automation continues to, be, continues to be a huge driver. Um, more and more globalization as uh, companies seek to find growth in other parts of the world. Uh, credit managers are challenged with how to really interpret the risk uh, in those different regions and different countries they're not familiar with. And then the, the third one I would just categorize as speed or velocity. Uh, the amount of data that's being produced, uh, the computing power to analyze it and, uh, and really pull insight and meaning out of it continues to improve. Um, and unfortunately, the speed at which some of the bad guys out there, some of the fraudsters in the world, uh, are adapting and becoming ever more clever in, in, uh, in perfecting the aircraft is a challenge for us as well. Okay, now what would you consider in your role right now in working with analytics, what's the most exciting, promising, fascinating thing about analytics right now um, relevant to the business realm? Yeah, I would say going back on that speed trend, um, you know, one of the biggest challenges credit managers and risk managers face is fraud. And I keep going back to that because it's been one that through my career has sort of vexed me to, a, to an extent because fraudsters, it's their job. They're out there trying to, to make a living off of defrauding you, the company. Um, and so one of the more exciting things we have going now is, is machine learning. So with the uh, amount of computing power and the data that's being produced and gathered all the time, uh, you need a very powerful tool to be able to uh, ingest that data and make sense of it. And so over the last year, 18 months, we've been working with a variety of different uh, machine learning techniques. Um, and what it does is, again, it enables you to bring in all of that disparate data from lots of different sources. We can process significantly more uh, variables and attributes through than we can through a traditional logistic model, for example. Um, but more importantly and more exciting for our customers is we can actually take feedback from them as they uh, generate more fraud experiences, unfortunately, feed that back into the model and rapidly retrain and redevelop the model uh, in, in a matter of um, hours and days as opposed to rebuilding a full logistic regression model, which you know historically would take weeks. So we're able to much more quickly adapt, which is important in a a dynamic environment like fraud, where, where, like I said, the fraudsters are out there doing their job all the time, trying to find ways through your systems.